Sex for favors is a challenge Zambia and other countries have continued to face, and this problem is seen through fruits in the labor force as those who find their way to the top through exchange of sex for favors, such as grades, promotions, or a job position, may not be competent enough to deliver their various traits and skills in a satisfactory manner. A few months back, but in 2023, the Anti-Corruption Commission, SEC, arrested two Copper Belt University lecturers for the crime of sexual transactions and soliciting bribes from students for grades. And now the commission has since resounded its warning against perpetrators of sextortion among lecturers and students, which involves more than one party who are in this case givers and receivers. On the ongoing battle against corruption, the SEC, through its spokesperson Timothy Mono, has clarified that it is aware of the many ongoings of the sexual gratification culture, especially in colleges and universities. The insidious threat posed by corruption, particularly sexual gratification. In other terms, it's called sex torture. Another form of corrupt practice which appears, which appears to now be coming in the fall especially in colleges and high institutions of learning. As you may be aware, in the past two months, the Commission has arrested three lecturers at the Copper Belt University over this crime, and this has raised a lot of concern. Timothy Mono has since advised victims of this corrupt practice not to shy away from reporting the culprits, but be courageous enough to bring them to book. The Commission is determined to fight this immoral practice in its pursuit of curtailing the vice and holding perpetrators accountable for their actions. The Commission would like to urge victims of this form of corruption not to shy away from reporting, but to be courageous enough to bring culprits to book. Students who are weak academically equally offer their bodies in exchange for marks in higher learning institutions in Zambia. This situation is dangerous and harmful towards realizing goals of the country's education system. Therefore, more sensitization measures are vital to curb this vice. Namuinga Mwinga, for Movie TV News in Lusaka.